Welcome back. In our top business story, attracting over 14 million tourists in 2011, up from 6.8 million in 2010, tourism in Portugal is on the rise and is expected to increase by another 100,000 visitors this year. With a population of 10.6 million people, the southwest European country aims to strengthen its friendly relations with the UAE and also increase the current non-oil trade of 709.63 million US dollars. Tourism accounts for 9.2% of the country's GDP and 8.2% of total employment. Her Excellency Mrs. Cecilia Marielles, the Minister of Tourism for Portugal, who is currently on a visit to the UAE to boost ties, stated this morning that attractive investment opportunities such as alternative energy, ports, banking and telecommunications are available for business professionals, in addition to popular tourist attractions that are rich in culture and history for those visiting. We mainly talk about the differences in culture. I try to use these meetings to uh, increase the awareness of Portugal and also to understand what people in the, in, uh, in the Emirates want, what people in the Middle East want, what are they interested in. This mission has two, two objectives. The first one is a commercial one uh, with Emirates, with the Portuguese companies that uh, the, the, our minister brought, brought with her. The second one is a more political and institutional one. Meanwhile, Emirates Airlines also announced this morning that daily direct flights from the Portuguese capital Lisbon to Dubai will be launched from the 9th of July. First of all, uh, we're going to start operating to uh, Lisbon from 9th of July. Daily flight with a new aircraft, a 777. Uh, morning starting morning from here and afternoon from, from Lisbon to Dubai which is we are proud of it because it's, we are the first carrier, Middle East carrier operating to uh, Lisbon at this time. The UAE's active mobile subscribers jumped 7.33% to reach 11.72 million in 2011, up from 10.92 million at the previous year, according to the latest report from the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority. The report also revealed that the penetration rate rose from 197% in 2010 to 199% last year, adding 26 billion dirhams to the UAE economy. Penetration rates are measured through monthly penetration rates on UAE population figures supplied by the Ministry of Economy. The report added that the UAE had over 1.8 million fixed line subscriptions, with the fixed line penetration rate reaching 31% in 2011. The number of internet service subscriptions rose 10.5% to over 1.32 million, registering a penetration rate of 56.4%. And let's now take a look at the stock indices across the GCC.